John McConan, favoritrealestate.com, underwaterrealestate.com. What's better, foreclosure or short sale? Well, we do have a weekly webinar on this where we go into detail about the laws and the facts and we let people ask questions and follow up. Uh, it's a very interesting topic and, you know, there's no way we're going to cover it here in a video that's limited by how much time I can even record. Um, let me just say that you have to look at foreclosure versus short sale and your other options, which would be a two-step short sale, a short payoff, potentially a loan mod, because you want to um, find a ways to limit liability or damage to your credit, limit liability for the remaining loan balance, and, um, and uh, sometimes limit your tax liability. And all of these are issues. And they don't all work out the same way. And you also have to remember that 75% of real negotiated, realtor negotiated short sales fail. And if you've positioned yourself ahead of time to be uh, to accept the foreclosure without any financial damage, you can use that, and we frequently do, in our negotiations with the second. In fact, we say, look, maybe I need, as a lawyer, to explain this to your investor because I can't believe you'd rather have not have $6,000 over zero. And then I explain the law, and I say, I need to talk to your investor. I need to contact. They say no. And then I send them a RESPA request, and we go get the information. So it's also, you know, i got to give your person negotiating some time. And, and I also don't do it arrogantly. I, I'm more, I try to go with the Columbo style. Like, I don't understand. You know, but those are things you need to do. You need to um, set up your short sale or your foreclosure or your loan work out ahead of time so that it works out best for you, the homeowner, not the realtor, not the bank. And... Um, we also want to discuss the differences. Well, a foreclosure, I like to look at your credit scores from a credit history and credit score situation. 30, 60, and 90 day lates are going to kill people with good, good credit, whether it's a short sale or foreclosure. Most people become sort of indifferent after that um, because their credit's so hurt. But it does seem anecdotally that people with short sales have rebuild their credit faster. It also, I can also say on your foreclosure credit history, a foreclosure on your credit history probably looks far less responsible than a short sale or a deed in lieu. Um, so we, we talk about that with our clients. We set it up for clients that, are, that there are clients that can't tolerate foreclosures in the securities industry or the security industry. We also discuss ways, and this is usually an additional fee, uh, which we don't really, well, let me strike this. There are ways to protect your credit, and you can negotiate with us to do this for you. It doesn't work with every bank, but if you dispute your debt and you say, while we're working this out, do not harm my credit, and you're serious about that and less serious about the short sale, there are ways to protect your credit during the short sale process. Not always with all banks, but it can get done. It is a lot of work, but for some people, it's the type of thing that they really, really want. So as a lawyer, I have to explain it to you. I have to show you how it works. And then you have to decide whether it's what you want to do. Um, there's just so much on this topic. And it, it's all about negotiation. It's all about knowing the law. And if you do all that right, it can also help you get to the, uh, to the uh, outcome that you desire. Um, we've got lots of ways to contact us. If you're interested, let us know. We'll figure it out with you. Thanks, John McConnell. Uh There should be one more video in the series. Thanks. Bye.